this is anonymous, we have recently been alerted to the torture of groups of protesters in OWS, committed by the LAPD. The sadistic behavior is unacceptable, and most importantly entirely unprovoked. If it were up to us the people would no longer recognize your authority as officers of the law, as clearly you are not. Be thankful it is not up to us, and be thankful for your health. You have wrongly taken citizens who were not accused of any crimes, and inflicted upon them, cruel and unusual punishments. Officers, you are in violation of the Eighth Amendment, that excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Furthermore, you are in violation of the Fourteenth Amendment, which states, No state shall deprive any person of life, liberty, or property, without due process of law nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. You are in violation of a Supreme Court ruling in which the law presumes that persons charged with a crime are innocent until they are proven by competent evidence to be guilty. Officers, you swore an oath to uphold the laws of this country. You clearly are not officers of the law, as you do not uphold to the Constitution, supreme laws or values of this country. You have committed an act of treason, and as such, you should be tried and subjected to the full extent of the law for your crimes against the people of the United States of America. And now, to the people, the specifics of the torture. The LAPD held a group of non-violent OWS protesters in the precinct garage, they were forced to kneel for more than seven hours on the concrete floor with their hands painfully zip-tied behind their backs. During this time some had even passed out, they were not allowed food, water, medical treatment or their phone call. Those with bail money were still not released for at least 25 hours. Many suffer permanent nerve damage in their hands. Unfortunately these and other methods of torture are more than likely to become a common practice more so than it is right now. And internal affairs will continue to enforce this by doing nothing. LAPD Anonymous does not encourage violence, however, considering your recent actions, if people were to take action against you, it would be a justified event, in which Anonymous could not in good conscience condemn. We are Anonymous. We are a legion. We do not accept tyranny. Expect us.